My name is Ola Bratt and I'm a professor of urology in Gothenburg, Sweden. I'm going to briefly present our research article with the title Prostate Cancer in Kidney Transplant Recipients, a Nationwide Register Study. Prostate cancer diagnosed these days is often of low grade and low grade prostate cancer is considered indolent and therefore usually managed with surveillance rather than with surgery or radiotherapy. Men with low-grade prostate cancer in need for a kidney transplant are, however, often required to have a radical prostatectomy and a couple of years of observation before they can have their transplant. The reason is concerns for that immunosuppression after transplantation otherwise would cause progression of their cancer. This practice may actually cause more harm than good. First, a radical prostatectomy may cause lifelong side effects that reduce quality of life. Second, delaying transplantation and thereby prolonging time on dialysis definitely reduces quality of life. And third, it hasn't been established that immunosuppression after transplantation really causes progression of prostate cancer. So we decided to investigate this. We used one of the best prostate cancer research databases in the world, PC Bay Sweden, and for the purpose of this study we specifically linked also to the Swedish renal register. The rationale behind our study was that prostate cancer is, as you know, prevalent among middle-aged and elderly men. About one-third of men in their 50s, 60s and 70s have an undiagnosed prostate cancer. So it's reasonable to assume that many men with a kidney transplant also have an undiagnosed prostate cancer. So if immunosuppression after transplantation causes progression of prostate cancer, one would expect to find a rising incidence of prostate cancer after kidney transplantation. When analyzing our data, we found absolutely no suggestion of a rising incidence of prostate cancer, of high-grade prostate cancer, or of advanced prostate cancer, even after more than 12 years of observation after a kidney transplantation. And the prognosis for men with prostate cancer who had a kidney transplant was the same as for other men with prostate cancer. We hope that these results will contribute to change the practice in those transplantation centers that still require men with a low-grade prostate cancer to have a radical prostatectomy before they can have their transplant. For details about this study, please read BJUI. Thank you.